हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ यू ऑल माय नेम इज हर्षित द्विवेदी एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल ऑफ अर्थ विल यू इंपॉर्टेंट एरास इंपॉर्टेंट एपॉक्स इंपॉर्टेंट पीरियड्स विल बी डिस्कस्ड बाय मी फॉर एग्जांपल दिस पैलियोजोइक मीजोजोइक सेनोजोइक देन दिस नियोजोइक ओके फ्रेंड्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विल बी डिस्कस्ड बाय मी फ्रेंड्स देन द primary secondary tertiary quaternary epoch then the important period see geological time scale division is very wide friends and if you are going to do you know specialize into it then actually this topic can become very difficult for you and very very extensive for you so for the time being in this video i have included those elements which are important for a general understanding and for your appearance in exam from that perspective everything is covered in this video but nothing very much in depth i have covered because then that will make the video very boring and it is for specialist for us this much is sufficient so for, this is presented by me friends if you want to follow me the link of my instagram profile is given in the description box below also this video is in english friends if you want to watch the hindi version of the video the link of that is also given in the description box below so these are the eras azoic paleozoic mesozoic cenozoic epoch then the period and this is the time scale so this is just a reference moving forward first of all the very first unit of geological time scale is eon so first of all we are going to divide the geological time scale into eons so very first thing comes the phanerozoic eon that is from present day to 570 million years ago comes under phanerozoic eon then then after that comes cryptozoic eon which goes from 570 million years ago to 3500 million years ago and then comes the azoic eon which goes from 3500 million years ago to 4600 million years ago okay so these are the three eons which we are going to talk about in very brief i will tell you about azoic and cryptozoic eon we will focus our efforts on phanerozoic eon which is the most important because most of the development of life form have taken place in this phanerozoic eon so first of all let us know what is this azoic eon friends so this azoic eon extended from 3500 to 4600 million years ago at this point of time life has not originated on the earth but there was the presence of rocks air and water after that comes the cryptozoic eon friends cryptozoic eon lasted from 570 million years ago to 3500 million years ago during this time invertebrates and cryptograms were formed so this time period of cryptozoic eon from 570 to 3500 has been broken apart into two parts first one is the proterozoic era the second is the archaeozoic era which is also named as archean okay so this proterozoic era i'm sorry for my pronunciation this proterozoic era it extends from 570 million years ago to 2500 million years ago during this era marine invertebrates were formed and few of them had shells okay don't go in the technicalities friends because if you are going to study the life forms during these eras this thing will become very very difficult for you so i'm just telling you the division of the time scale okay then comes the after this proterozoic era comes the archaeozoic era so it lasted from 2500 million years ago to 3500 million years ago okay during this time period early marine plants and algae were formed okay and if we are going to combine this proterozoic era and archaeozoic era this archaeozoic era is also known as archean era so both of them combined will become precambrian era okay so this is the cryptozoic eon friends now the most important eon that is going to come in front of us is the phanerozoic eon now first of all we will look the classification of phanerozoic eon into eras so first comes the paleozoic era then comes the mesozoic era then comes the cenozoic era under the paleozoic era comes what this is the paleozoic era friends under this comes cambrian period ordovician period silurian period devonian period carboniferous period permian period under this mesozoic era comes triassic period jurassic period cretaceous period and under this cenozoic era there are many more classifications and if you are going to study this classification one by one for example cambrian era ordovician era silurian era devonian so these single single periods are going to take this this these are periods cambrian period ordovician period silurian period devonian period so these periods will take years to understand friends because this is a complete analysis you know complete ground level testing has been done and on that basis this division has been made So this Phanerozoic eon is first classified into Paleozoic era, Mesozoic era, and Cenozoic era, and then these eras are divided into respective periods. And each period is very wide in its approach. A lot amount of study is needed to cover them. 
मूविंग फॉरवर्ड फ्रेंड्स नाउ फेनोरोजोइक एरा ओके सी दिस एरा स्टार्टेड 570 मिलियन इयर्स अगो एंड स्टिल कंटिन्यू दैट इज फ्रॉम प्रेजेंट टू 570 मिलियन इयर्स अगो एंड देन इट विल बी ब्रोकन अपार्ट ओके नाउ फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कम इन एंड वी हैव सीन दैट इन फेनोरोजोइक एरा थ्री जोर एपोक्स वर कमिंग ओके सो दे वर सॉरी इन दिस फेनोरोजोइक इयॉन थ्री एराज वर कमिंग दे वर सेनोजोइक एरा then the mesozoic era then the paleozoic era so first of all we are going to talk about the cenozoic era which lies from present day to 65 to 66 million years ago this is what cenozoic era now this cenozoic era can be divided into two periods quaternary period and tertiary period and in some cases this quaternary period is also known as neozoic era so if someone ask you what is neozoic era so this is the quaternary period of cenozoic era okay so this phanerozoic eon is being classified into cenozoic era mesozoic era and paleozoic era this cenozoic era is divided into quaternary and tertiary period the quaternary period is also known as neozoic era and further this quaternary period is divided into two heads pleistocene holocene holocene lies from present day to 11700 years ago and pleistocene lies from 11700 years ago to 2.588 million years ago So this is the classification of quaternary period. Moving forward to the classification of tertiary period of Cenozoic era. So this tertiary period lasted from 66 million years ago. Sorry, 2.58 million years ago to 66 million years ago. So this tertiary period. So obviously the Cenozoic era that is present day to 66 million years ago or 65 million years ago has been divided into two heads. Okay, first is the quaternary period which lies from present to 2.58 million years ago and the tertiary period which lies from 2.588 million years ago to 66 million years ago okay so this is the breakup this is the phanerozoic eon then comes the cenozoic era and this cenozoic era is divided into quaternary period tertiary period this tertiary period is divided into paleogene neogene and the epochs coming under this tertiary period are pliocene miocene oligocene eocene paleocene now first of all if you have to see the pliocene lies from 2.588 to 5.332 million years ago then comes miocene this lies from 5.332 million years ago to 23.03 million years ago then comes oligocene this oligocene lies from friends this 23.03 million years ago to 33.9 million years ago then comes eocene friends eocene lies from 33.9 million years ago to 55.8 million years ago and then comes paleocene it lies from 55.8 million years ago to 65.5 million years ago so this was a breakup of tertiary period friends so you can see that cenozoic era is complete from 0 to 66 million years ago we have taken the breakup then comes the mesozoic era which is known as the middle life this era started about 65 million years ago or 66 million years ago and ended 250 million years ago this is further divided into three period triassic jurassic and cretaceous so during this time reptiles formed and many other animals formed animal form formed forms so the division is something like this this is the cenozoic era after this the mesozoic era started so from 65 million years ago to 144 million years ago lies the cretaceous period of the mesozoic era then from this 144 million years ago to 206 million years ago lies the jurassic period of the mesozoic era and from this 206 million years ago to 248 million years ago lies the triassic period so this is the complete timeline of this mesozoic era friends okay moving forward the next thing which comes in front of us is the paleozoic era and one thing friends in this mesozoic era these dinosaurs have evolved in the triassic period okay so this is one more thing that you need to know you know the movie is the jurassic park type of movie that we are going to see in which a lot of dinosaurs are being shown they used to live in this era so many million years back okay today there is no sign of them then comes the paleozoic era friends the past life so this is the timeline here you can see uh, archean and proterozoic this is archaeozoic era so this was the precambrian which i have already told you in this phanerozoic eon comes the cenozoic mesozoic and paleozoic so cenozoic and mesozoic i have talked about then comes the paleozoic paleozoic can be divided into permian carboniferous devonian silurian ordovician cambrian no need to look at individual these era uh, periods because individually they have a whole lot of subject you know devoted to them 
so this is not of your use anyone who is studying geology and who is studying a specific branch of geology he can only see these type of things because this is his area of work specialized you know specialized field of work for people of generalized understanding this is not very important just look at the classification now first comes the permian so permian period lies from 251 million years ago to 299 million years ago then comes carboniferous it lies from 299 million years ago to 359 million years ago then comes devonian it lies from 359 million years ago to 416 million years ago then comes silurian it lies from 416 million years ago to 444 million years ago then lies ordovician it lies from 444 million years ago to 488 million years ago and then comes cambrian it lies from 488 million years ago to 542 million years ago so you can say the complete history from present day to around 570 million years ago i have already covered in this video okay and then 570 to 3500 million years ago that i have also covered and then 3500 to 4600 million years ago the azoic era that i have also covered so all the important things i have already told you friends i hope this video was of some help to you just have a you know sort of revision you can see here that the classification of eons very first comes the azoic eon then comes the cryptozoic eon then comes the phenerozoic eon azoic eon no classification i have discussed then the cryptozoic eon the classification is something like this proterozoic era archaeozoic era then comes the phenerozoic eon in the phenerozoic eon the classification is first into eras paleozoic era mesozoic era cenozoic era the paleozoic era is divided into cambrian period or division period silurian period devonian period carboniferous period permian period then mesozoic era is divided into triassic period jurassic period cretaceous period and obviously after that comes the cenozoic era so it is divided into no quaternary tertiary quaternary is divided into holocene pleistocene and tertiary is divided into you can see here pliocene miocene oligocene eocene please paleocene so this was the complete details about this geological time history friends i hope this video was really helpful for you if it was helpful kindly tell me through your comments friends that you really like this video if you have any doubt regarding this time scale you can also ask that okay please like the video if you liked it see these things are a little bit difficult i accept it friends because understanding the geological time scale is very very difficult but just need to understand the classification now don't go into these things that why this time period is taken because that has taken a lot of study and analysis of geologists so leave that that uh, leave that topic to the geologist you just need to understand and learn the time periods that are very very important friends slight amount of references to this videos i will be taking up in my subsequent videos so i hope this video was helpful kindly subscribe to this channel if you really benefited from it and you can also refer these type of videos in my channel to some of your friends who are preparing for similar type of examinations or who have an interest in general knowledge type of things so thank you for watching this year this video friends have a great day goodbye take care keep studying and take care of your health also